Are you looking to make your projects pop? Well, no problem. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create some awesome neon glow shapes with any object that you want here inside of After Effects. I'll be showing how to create this non-destructive workflow here in After Effects with no plugins, so you'll be able to easily use any logo that you have, any shape or letter that you wish to use for these neon glow lights here in the background of your scene. So if you're ready to create some awesome glowing motion graphics, let's jump in and let's get started. So After Effects is loaded up and I need to hit hard on the first point that you can use any object or shape that you want to create these glowing lines. So for example, you could type out the letter C. If you're gonna use a font, I suggest using a font that's gonna be re relatively thin. So I'm using Monster uh, Regular for this, or you can use a custom shape or even your logo. But I think it's important to have a thin sort of shape like this, an outline, if you will. Okay, so here we are in a composition. I'm gonna grab the textile tool and just type out a random letter. Like I said, you can use anything you want, a logo or a shape. I wanna make my object kind of fill the entire composition here, but make sure whatever you're using, make sure that the layer is white. Then go to layer pre-compose, we'll call it placeholder and click OK. Then we'll go to composition, composition settings, and we'll set the width to 3000 by 3000 and then click OK. Now we can start applying a handful of effects. So I'll go to effect, generate, and I'm going to grab Vegas. Let's go to rendering and where it says over, set it to transparent. Now we'll have an outline of our shape. Let's go to segments, set it to one. We can set our color to any color we want, but I'm gonna set it to white, click OK. I'll set our width up to five and I'll set our end opacity to one. Then we'll come here to the top, go to image contours and set the threshold to 255 and set the tolerance to zero. So now we should have a nice sort of outline of our shape. So whether you're using a logo or whatever, you should have this outline. Then we go to segments, I'll set it to one and we'll come here to uh, length. Make sure to begin your timeline, set the length down to zero add a keyframe for it, move forward in time, and set the length up to whatever you want. I'm actually not gonna set it completely to one because I like to have somewhat of a you know cutout here. So it should still look something like that. And then I'm gonna alt click stopwatch for rotation and I'm gonna type in time asterisk 10. So you should have something like this. Now let's create the glow effect. Go to effect perspective and we're gonna add drop shadow to start this off. We'll set our shadow color to the color that you want to be glowing. So I want blue, click okay. Set the distance to zero and the softness to 20. Then take the drop shadow effect, go to edit, duplicate. Then set the softness for the second duplicated drop shadow to 80. Now we go to effect stylize, we grab glow. We'll set the glow intensity to two. Go to original color, set it to A and B colors. Go to color looping and set it to sawtooth B greater than A. And then let's come here to color A and select the drop shadow color that we used previously and this should give a nice blue tint around the edges. Now what we can do is take our glow effect, duplicate it. We'll set our glow threshold up to 75 and we'll come here to glow radius, set it to 90. So now we have this nice outer glow. And one thing that we can do is create a quick flicker effect on the glow. So we'll alt click the stopwatch for glow radius, wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma 50, close parenthesis. So Vegas and the glow effects all set up. Here's what we have, it's coming together and we're actually almost done. Before we move further into the video, we have a sponsor, and that's us. If you use After Effects or Premiere Pro, then be sure to check out our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable templates for your projects. For example, you can browse, import, and edit templates all from the Motion Duck extension. So you'll be able to save hours of time on every project while producing high quality work. You can also download our free 100 template pack with the links in the description below. And if you purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So now what we can do is take our placeholder and duplicate it, and we can hit S on keyboard for scale and scale it up. Now, what about pixelization? You just click on this continuously rasterize icon and that will keep the fidelity of the original image behind it. Now, depending on the shape that you're using, you may need to use your arrow keys to kind of just recenter everything, but if you're using like a square or like a simple logo, you're not gonna have to recenter. So just keep that in mind as you duplicate. So then we'll go ahead and create some more duplicates and then just rescale. So I went ahead and created up to five copies. Just feel free to fill up the entire composition. And then what I wanna do is just take each placeholder and kind of just offset it in time by a little bit, create this like staircase uh, layer placement so they can kind of all be offset by a little bit. And the further you space them out, the more offset the layers will be, but that's up to you. Then when we're done, grab everything, pre-compose it, just call it all or something, click okay. Then go back to composition, composition settings, and change your main comp here back to 1920 by 1080. And then one last thing you can do is just hit S on keyboard for scale, add a keyframe, 
and move forward in time. And you can just do like a quick, like 110 scale. So this way it'll kind of like be zooming towards your work as well. And obviously you can throw like a title on top of this and use this as a background. There's a lot of different uses, but if you really want to make this pop even more, I have a couple of suggestions. First of all, grab your all placeholder layer, go to effect, stylize and grab glow again. Set the glow threshold to 80, the glow radius to 500 and then the glow intensity to 0.5. And this will help further the glow even more. Another thing we can do is go to layer new solid and instead of having a pure black background, we can have like a very dark, dark gray background, which will add a nice touch to your composition because then when we go to layer new adjustment layer and we go and apply the effect, noise and grain and add noise and we increase our noise, which you might not see this on YouTube, but if you add 12% on Jack use color noise, it's gonna make a nice subtle difference in your work and ultimately you're gonna have a really beautiful composition. And just to show, if you go into your compositions here and go to the placeholder and you change it to another letter, you could have a background that looks like this. So now we've set up a non-destructive workflow that will allow you to easily duplicate this for more slides uh, and ultimately do what you wanna do and create an awesome motion graphic project. If you're new to our YouTube channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as we post multiple After Effects videos every single week and always be creating.